Oh, they're taking it seriously. So I'm the one who's not taking it seriously. My friends are already planning their makeup. <laughs> Her makeup looks amazing for it, though. It did though. look damn good, and I love your photo. I will not have you ship One Direction in. You guys can stop whenever you want. Have you okay. started video? Uh-huh. Have you already started? Yes. Alright. Oh, okay. So today, Piper and I are going to do the Rip It or Ship It tag. And so we have a bunch of characters in the cat. And what we're going to do is we're each going to pull one character out and then put them together and see whether or not we rip it or ship it. It's pretty interesting because Piper and I have very different reading tastes. I'm actually an anti-shipper, which means I hate shipping, but <laughs> I'm willing to do crack shipping, where it's just stupid. So. I kind of ship everything, so... <laughs> I know, you're a mess. So together we make a functional relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I got Jace from Mortal Instruments. I've never actually read it. I know he looks like a Goblin King in the movies. I got Mia Thermopolis from Princess Diaries. Alright. So, I don't feel like these guys are going well together. He's a Shadow Hunter. He's a. He's just. Princess of Genovia. He's an angsty bitch and she's actually getting her life sorted. <laughs> also, very happy. Play with best friend's what brother, so... So, we're saying a no? Yeah, no. no. We're just gonna... Alright, next couple. Uh, <laughs> okay. I have Lucy from Narnia. Vasilisa Dragonbeard. <laughs> from that high kitty. Yes. They're oh. actually both quite princessy, so it... it yeah, it, I, I feel like it could work. Like, if they're princesses together, but if they're, like drama queens against each other it won't work yeah also we're dealing with older lucy um no yeah, not, <laughs> not 12 year old lucy i actually think they'd actually be all right i actually think they could do well together they could roll two lands together they could yeah bridge the gap should we put them together let's put them together the dream pairing dream pairing otb i have sherlock holmes alex Ryder. <laughs> the soul breaker Yes, from Stormbreaker. So, I've tried... <laughs> We're doing book Sherlock Holmes. Oh yeah! So, he's kind of an asexual asshole. And Alex Ryder <laughs> is a 15 year old... They both are great at solving problems. <laughs> like, I think they could have some really great adventure together. Yeah, I think they could make maybe like a great... Friendship, you know? They would be have a romance kind yeah. of. Yeah. If they were, if I also think she would just be annoyed at him at some point though, go like, why are you so stupid? She would be like his apprentice. Alex Ryder would oh, be like yeah. Sherlock Holmes apprentice. I don't think it's a relationship relationship. No, so we're gonna I, I we, bro ship ship the, it. we ship this as a like apprenticeship. Platonic bromance, I yeah. say. You say? Yeah. <laughs> oh that's a two. What did I get? Oh. Ah. Okay, I had Edmund from Narnia. I have Edward Cullen. I shit this. <laughs> I, I shit this. They're both assholes. They're, yeah. Also, Edmund and Edward. Shit this, right? <laughs> what would the shit be? Ed, Ed and Ed. Ed and Ed. <laughs> Ed Squid. I don't care about the personalities. I think it works. I, I just think it works. Like, not even as a brother. He gave up his entire family for Turkish delight, and they're not even that good. Yeah, I think they work really well together. I mean, they're both just, they're both food obsessed. I mean, he, Edward's literally, oh, yeah. he's dating his food. Bella. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is, can't, you can't more creepy than that. <laughs> no, they work. I see it. I see it. I Ship see it. it in a beautiful world. Okay, I have Willy Wonka. I have Katniss Everdeen. I, I'm thinking this probably is not going to work. I so, don't think this is going to work. Willy Wonka and Katniss Everdeen. She's going to be like, why would we ever focus on candy when the world is falling apart? Like she's very <laughs> realistic and lives in reality. Willy Wonka does not. He lives in his know, own whimsical like, world. My people die and you're going to make candy whatever you want. Like, they're, they're not This guy be... is in his own little candy world and doesn't really leave the house. Yeah, he kind of just... He actually kind of has his own version of the Hunger Games, though, going. I mean, he's I mean, yeah. he's knocking those children out. I don't think she'd agree with that, though. She's like, you're torturing these children. <laughs> so I must problem? find the, my successor. That's what it's called. I know. He'd be like, you want to take over my version of the Hunger Games with food? She'd be like, hell no. So, I think... At least she won't starve. It's true, but she's eating just terrible food. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to so say no. A bitch. All right, all right. I got Severus Snape. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Like, I should have the sickest reality server. Like, like, yes. Severus Snape and Hannibal Lecter works really well. They're both coy assholes. Like, scarily well. Yeah, that would actually just... I don't... I, I, because I would also... This is also the whole dating my food thing again. Yeah. But... I'm wondering... You know, 
Would he have some more- would Severus Snape have some morality issues with Hannibal, or would he just kind of be like, I see eye to eye, you know, kind of his way? I don't know. Would they just be like, I think we could, are both so misunderstood, we just they, bond together. The misunderstood thing, I think he could probably talk him into like, see it from my perspective. Yeah, I think Severus Snape is very easily manipulated. manipulated he yeah. is. We're not saying a, it's a healthy relationship, but it's- It's, it's a, certain, a relationship. To a certain degree, I could see it working. Yeah, and- Hannibal Lecter is very cunning. Psychologist. He he would know how to manipulate. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So I could see this I actually really see happening. This. Um, I wouldn't agree with it, but I see this happening. They'd be an asshole power couple. Really. They would. Like they'd be a power couple. Once he got on board, they'd be a power couple. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> so I think preparing it. Yes. <laughs> we shit this apparently. Ender. Wigan. Wigan. I've never read the book, so. I got Aragon, so. Do you, oh. do you know who Aragorn is? I saw the movie! <laughs> Sir! Well, Ender's kind of a whiny bitch, I'm gonna be real with you. He just complains about why do I have to destroy a population? I mean, get over it. Isn't Aragorn also a whiny bitch? Yes, actually- He, he was, they're right? Both, they're both chosen against their will, kind of. Yeah, he's just like, I don't want to, though. Like, he- I'm just imagining- Aragorn is basically Luke Skywalker, right? Yeah. He's like a crack child of Luke Skywalker and Frodo Baggins. They might actually see eye to eye a little bit. I think they see eye to eye. I don't know if they'd be really- they're both- think... he is mentally scarred to all hell. I know later on in the book series, which I haven't read, I don't think he ever finds a romantic relationship because he's just a messed up guy. So... I we don't we know ha- about- I think we'd have to rip it. I don't actually think they'd be together. But they they understand together. each other. Yeah. But... It's no. gotta be a rip it. No. Too bad, I wanted that one to work. I know. You just want people to find love. Jack Torrance? I don't know who's from. Shining! Oh, okay. Oh, is this Johnny? Yeah. Here's uh, Johnny. John Watson. Uh, from Sherlock Holmes. So I think he'd be like, I go against everything you are doing. Yeah, I think he, he's he got very strong morals. <laughs> he's got high morality. That guy, he's this guy got no morals. Jack starts out, he's got an alcohol issue and, you know, he's the one guy who understands alcoholism and addiction. Like, Sherlock has addiction. Yeah. I think they would be, like, friends originally, but once Jack starts to lose his mind, he'd feel sad and he realize he probably has to take him down. Yeah. Because Jack starts, ki- like, going nuts. I think Watson would end up... He'd have to take him down or something. Take, take him down some way. Or he would knock him out. Yeah. Like, Jack, but don't do this! I think Watson's smart enough to recognize the size before that. Yeah, Plus so... Plus, there's Sherlock on his side, so... <laughs> True. So, yeah. do we, we not think it will work? We don't think it will no. work. Who's the next crack couple? I want a crack couple. Who do you got? I got Rose Hathaway from Vampire Academy. I got Hermione Granger. I see this working. Rose is very... as a guardian, so she's got all the fighter skills. She's sassy. She's sarcastic. She's got a lot of wit. They'd probably actually get... They'd have good banter, I'd assume, at the very least. Yeah, they would have very good banter. She's also very... They're both just badass women. They are. Yeah, you got, you got a wit. She was great this in the is, movie. This girl is great with martial arts. And she's just good at everything, except for- she's not great at fighting. They're not cowards, you know? No, I think they could actually be together, or they did- they would be great buddy-buddy, even if they weren't romantic. But I think they could be romantic. I think they could be romantic. I ship it. I ship it. Should we pair it? They're also the same age, that's probably what happens. (laughs) We're like, yes, finally a couple of same age! And same time zone, kind of. Oh, okay, I got Ellie from Avalon High by Meg Cabot. Harry Potter. So we got the chosen one. Twice. Because Ellie is supposed to be the Lady of the Lake. Do you think they would work though? <sighs> like they're both chosen ones. The problem with chosen ones is that they can actually be quite bland in their own personality. I because know. They're just kind of a vehicle for everyone else and the prophecy. So I'm trying to remember what Harry Potter's personality is, but I just remember he's brave and oh my god, I'm gonna piss off so many people. He's like, <laughs> He's brave, and she. Well, actually, no one says it has either said to me that Harry's their favorite character from Harry Potter. No. Which I think is sad, he's but brave. I understand. He's brave, and she's brave. So I guess, in terms of, if someone was writing a... They do, like, they do what has to be done. Yeah, they get shit done. I but think... I don't know who they would be without the prophecies, and I don't know I don't how know. they would... They can't go together because of their own separate prophecies pulling them away from each other. I see this happening if Harry Potter will be, like, the Merlin character. Yeah. In this it's whole. kind of just happening by law. Because Avalon High is based on Arthurian legends. Yeah. So, I understand... That makes sense. And Harry Potter some being like, it. Yeah, Harry Potter being, like, the wizard, the Merlin part of the story. I think kind of she's a shared universe, actually. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, like, the muggles who interacted with the wizards and still remember. Yeah, you know, yeah. Kind of. 
So actually, I think we just gave birth to a new alternate reality. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Avalon Hunt! Uh, we shut this now! Oh my god, actually, it does work finally. We make it work. Just for plot convenience, yeah. really. Yeah, okay. You didn't spell her name right. I don't give a damn. Clary Frey from Mortal Instruments? Ron Weasley. No. They're both redheads. Thank you. <laughs> I, um... They're probably related. <laughs> The Weasley family spreads far and wide. I'm sure they're related somehow. He's a bit of a drama queen. Uh, g give him that. He's a drama queen. It, she is the ultimate drama queen. So maybe they would actually be like the odd couple. Just kind of together and always in trouble. See, the problem with that is it's... Who would say them? <laughs> trouble follows Clary. So... He follows the trouble. I know, because he follows, follows Harry. Who is always... He's trouble. always in trouble. And... Charles just finds a good girl. buddy for her. He'd catch up, they'd catch, she'd like, me, Jay's like, who are you? And he'd be like, bloody hell, he's insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'd be like, bro, just don't do it. He'd like, don't do it. I feel like Rob would give her a lot of comment relief. And yeah. I feel like in a world as serious as the Shadow Hunt as well, you kind of need that. Hopefully he talks some sense into her, because he just doesn't agree with anything dangerous, so. Yeah, actually. Oh, but I know, he'd be like, she just... can't avoid it. She is also like the chosen one. This is a hard couple. This is hard. Yeah, why not? Alright, we've, uh, we've remended. We've remended this shit. <laughs> Fall for it. Voldemort. Alright, I got Alice in Wonderland. No, this one never work. <laughs> this one worked greatly, what are you talking about? <laughs> she this, just- It's Voldemort, it's never gonna work. He can't actually love. That's a thing, because he was conceived via love potion. Oh god. So he's right. incapable of love entirely. I think we have to rip this. No, Anything this doesn't with Voldemort work. doesn't work. <laughs> Especially a child. <laughs> Who the hell is Holly Short? Hey, I got Bella Swan. But okay, Holly Short is the fairy chick from Artemis Fowl. Oh, all right. I haven't read the books. Throughout these series, Artemis is kind of you know just a little devil child, but she's the one that's always the root of morality, oh. and she's pretty badass. Like she's a cop. Oh and nice. I'll, she kicks ass. So. Well, she Bella Swan be, from Twilight. She'd probably be remotely disgusted in her. She. Is like a blank slate. I don't yeah. know. Maybe pair her Holly make it better. Maybe you um, could do better than the per the vampire sucking your blood. I mean, she did pair with Art. But she didn't pair with Art, but you know, what I mean, she hangs around kind of eat snarky people, makes them better. So maybe she could make Bella better. Certainly more appreciative of her friends. Yeah, like, like bro, she just disses her friends gosh. all the time, and you know, Holly wouldn't stand up for that shit. I know Holly is a good friend. She'd be like, don't be mean to me. Yeah, so I feel like this would work. I feel like they could work it out if Bella, like, she needs to go slap in the face. Yeah, yeah, and I she feel like Holly could get that to her. I feel like probably. Yeah, so we put these together. I put it together. But do we put them together, like, platonically or romantically? I think platonic. I think she needs a good side chick. Yeah. Like, bro, don't go with Edward, he's creepy. Yeah. She'd probably kick him. She needs to go with the other guy. Okay, I have Jane from the Silver Metal Lover. This is really gonna be all on you because I got Jean Honeychurch. Oh, okay, that's from Jinx. By Meg Cabot. Uh, so we got another Meg Cabot in here and Silver Metal Lover. By Tanith Lee. Alright. Uh, I have the book. These are the two characters that got put together. Oh, he's so ugly. Leave him alone. He's an <laughs> android. You know his name, not his story. His name uh, is Silver. What a stupid name. It's Stannis. It's an acronym, okay? Stannis or some shit. Give me a rundown of each of the characters then. So tell me about first Jane, Silver Metal Lover. Okay. So Jay starts off really plain, but she's very sheltered and naive. But then, you know, she falls in love and she grows as her own person. Um, she breaks away from her mother. All right. So because her mother kept her in like a little bubble, so she breaks away from that so that she can really experience the world and what's actually like. Jane Honeychurch is a spoiler alert. Is a witch. Oh. Oh, okay. That's a spoiler because you don't know she's a witch with like near the end of the book. That like has always followed her around, and she's very. She's very awkward and shy about things, and she doesn't want to be the centre of attention. She would have been great with Ron. Yeah. <laughs> she's also redhead. Again, the problem with protagonists, they're, yeah, they've got some things, but they don't have quirks that, like, how do the quirks work together? Yeah, that's, that's the problem with that, um, cause... Do you see them being She able... was very whiny at the beginning. Jane was very whiny at the beginning. Is she whiny? Jean? Nah. So... Jean is not whiny, she's just very awkward and clumsy. She's quite right. but she's there. She wants to help everybody. So would she? She's got good intentions. Would they bond over the fact they feel kind of rejected from society or shy from society? I feel like they would. I feel like Jane would be really good helping Jane 
kind of navigate the world. All right. So romantic or platonic? Would you say then? Like a sisterhood or like romance? Do you see romance? You ship her too hard with silver, don't you? I do ship her too hard with silver. <laughs> All right. Let it be platonic. <laughs> it has to be platonic for me. They have a lot of ships. <gasps> Last two cards. Last two. Let's see. Hey! Uh, okay, I, got, I have Valkyrie from Scott Dark Eclipse series. I have Artemis Fowl. Oh. From, um, from Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer. Yeah. Scott Dark Eclipse by Jarrett Landry, by the way. So we have to explain these to each other then. Oh, okay. That's a good one, isn't it? Alright, Artemis Fowl. He's like, starts out 12 and he tries to take someone hostage to get them, like, money. He wants money. And he's an asshole up until the final book. And I kind of like him though. I can't, I'm gonna be real, Valkyrie's not gonna stand up for any of that shit. Really? She's not gonna stand up for any well, of that shit. Well, that's kinda like Holly, she doesn't stand up for Yeah. Valkyrie is Scott Drake plays a psychic. It's a psychic to a magical talking skeleton. Fair detective. enough. As you do. Yeah, uh, so she has a lot of magic. She's real, she's really badass. She does a lot of training. She's really good at Mortal Kombat as well. Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> like the game. Uh, She's always, her life is constantly in danger and she just manages to like push through it all because she believes in standing, she believes in being loyal and standing by side, it's got to be side. So, I don't see I it. I mean, I don't see it because I feel like she'd just kick his ass and be done with it. I know, Holly has a little more like, I need to save like his heart as well, but she's... Valkyrie would just be like, screw you. <laughs> Punt the little 12 year old. Yeah. <laughs> She she kick his ass and like. <laughs> All right, so so we're one. gonna have to rip it. Uh, we have um, nine ships. What's our favorite ship? Um, I have to say like Severus Snape and Hannibal. Hannibal. That's probably the, the best. It's the best one we've come up with. So out of all the ships we've done, comment below is how's your favorite? Because I forgot we put Edward and Edmund together. I'm we sorry. put some really crazy ships together. So this will be interesting. <laughs> My favorite crack ship that we threw away was actually Katniss and Willy Wonka, though. <laughs> I just don't think it would have worked. It wouldn't have worked, but it would have been hilarious to see them try. <laughs>